All right, we're gonna do a review here today at Slide Ranch. And we've actually been up here all week. We've taken the kids to a farm camp. And we wanna talk about it, and we wanna show you the different stations that were here. And it's a really cool place. It's up here in California, Northern California, up at Mare Beach. And we'll take you to all the stations and we'll show you everything Slide Ranch has to offer. We are here at Slide Ranch and this whole week we've been up here. We've taken the kids to a, a farm camp and they've done different activities on Monday, and Tuesday, and Wednesday, Thursday, and today is Friday. Today is the last day. We wanted to kind of review this area and kind of show anybody that may be interested in coming up here to check it out. It's really cool. There's goats on here. There's chickens. There's camping areas, there's a garden. They have a big house over here where all the um, people live, the leaders. So it's really cool. You can actually come up and you can do volunteer work and you can get in here and clean the coops out. So it's pretty cool. So it looks like there's the roosters in there. There's the hens and everything. And then in here it looks like there's a duck corral. I guess that's what they call it. I don't know. I'm not a rancher, but I tell you what, it sure is pretty cool. So here's where they got the ducks corralled. Yep. Yep. They got their little bathtubs in there in case they want to take a little bath, get a little drink. There they are in there. So all these places in here, like I said, you're able to come and do some volunteer work. Like the other day they had somebody in here and they were actually doing some stuff right over here. They were digging some trenches and they were cleaning out the coop. So you're able to do that as well. Got the old bees there. It doesn't matter where you go or what corner you turn. There's always something amazing to see. The scenery is amazing. All right, we're here in the garden now. And it's a very amazing garden. They got so many different things in here. They got vegetables, they've got fruits. I see a lemon tree over there. We've got a lot of stuff, beets, some rhubarb. And it's really, really cool. So today at the farmer's market, we're going to be able to try some of this stuff. So this is the new Slide Ranch um, learning facility that's behind me. And it's actually opening up later on this year. The new learning center is going to host educational programs available to kids and adults and school trips. Also, it will be available to rent. So if you have a wedding or if you have an event coming up, it might be worth checking out. First off, sorry about that. Uh, they're doing some construction up here. They had a mudslide earlier this year, so there's a lot of um, trucks and construction going on up the top of the mountain. But the cool thing really about here as well is that you can't teach this stuff out of a book. You can get into this area. You can get into the garden. You can get dirty. You can actually milk a goat. You can try goat's milk. You can eat fresh vegetables right from the ground. You can expose yourself to a lot of different things that a book cannot teach you. And you're on the California coast. They do a lot of composting as well, so they make sure to keep all their stuff so they can reuse it again. So this is all their garden composting in here. Different areas here where they can mix their stuff. Got all their wheelbarrows here so that they can get everything and not leave anything behind because everything is reusable here. This is a boot scraper there, so I need to scrape off my boots.
Okay, so we're gonna make our way down here to the tide pools. I don't think that it's uh, low tide yet, but we're still gonna go down there, check it out. And we're here in August, August 18th actually. And it's still pretty chilly. You know, you're in the northern part of California on the Pacific coast. I mean, you're right on the coast. I mean, you can see it right there. So it's still a little chilly, so you might still want to have a small jacket with you, maybe a beanie. But the views are breathtaking. To be honest, I had my reservations about coming here. I thought, ah, who wants to go to California again and go on the coast and go to some farm camp where there's animals and goats and granted all that stuff's cool, but until you step onto this place, you, you, you don't understand how awesome it really is. The air just smells cleaner. The water tastes better. You get to be on the coast and you get to smell the ocean. You get to hear the waves crashing down. It's just amazing. And to see my kids' faces, how they just light up every morning knowing that they are going to Slide Ranch. Gotta make your reservations early if you wanna do the camp. I believe the first camp starts in June, early June, and they do 10 weeks. Oh, another really cool thing here that they have is they have this beach TLC station. You take one of these bags here, it's a uh, repurposed bag, you pick up the trash, you report what you picked up, and you put the trash in a trash bin. And that means you get to do your part here. We all love coming to the beach, we all enjoy nature, and we all want to do our part. So this gives the kids an opportunity, and you can talk to them about littering. All right, so now we're here at the goat station. There's a bunch of goats. There's one called Amber, there's one called Sweet Pea, there's one called Blanquito, which is my kid's favorite. But all over here, they're able to milk the goats, they're able to pet the goats, they're able to brush the coats, and they're able to learn different things about the goats. They're also able to walk the goats periodically through the farm. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video here at Slide Ranch. It's been an amazing week for us. One of the great things about um, their mission statement is is that they are trying to connect children to nature. I mean, what an amazing statement. To get your kids off the TV, off the electronics, but to get them out here, get dirty, have fun, and try new things. So whether you get an opportunity to come up here or not, I hope that you enjoy the adventure.